Joining me is Jack Kelly. Now, he is a foreign correspondent, war correspondent, and just came back from Israel. He has some information about these attacks. Jack, what can you tell us happened first in New York? Um, apparently, what appears to happen was that at the same time two planes hit the building, that, there, that the FBI most likely thinks that there was a car or truck packed with explosives underneath the buildings, which also exploded at the same time and brought both of them down. Now, that's the first time we're hearing that. So two planes and explosives that were in the building, is that correct? That is the working theory at this point. That is still unconfirmed, but that is what the FBI is going on at this point. Now, here in Washington, can you tell us what happened with this jet? We believe it's an American Airlines jet that was going from Dulles International Airport to Los Angeles. Can you tell us about that? At approximately 9.45, the plane hit the hit side of the building over there. There are there are confirmed deaths at this point. Um, this is thought to be part of a coordinated attack. This is the first time that U.S. officials will actually say that this is part of a coordinated attack, and I don't think it's exactly over yet. Is this, it is not over yet? They don't believe it's actually over yet. They're taking precautions. Within the last couple of minutes, the White House has, has approved sending two aircraft carrier battle groups, one into the Chesapeake Bay, the other outside of the New York City area, to prepare and defend for possible, for possible future attacks. Now, Jack, as these battleships are headed headed out, d does this mean war? Lawrence Eagleburger, the former Secretary of State, just told us that this is a declaration.